Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Dustine. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's good? We are back with a new video. I have not done my hair on YouTube or just a hair video in so long. I am actually so sorry. I've been giving all of my hair content to TikTok and Instagram, but today I knew that this video is going to be lengthy and that I'm going to basically be doing a lot to my hair. So I was like, you know what? We're going to film a YouTube video. So I'm actually going to be dyeing my hair. So I want to dye my hair like a soft black color and then i want to install a u part well it's really a v part wig that i have um an old one and it's a lot um so i went to cvs and i picked up this revlon box dye i don't know i i like using i've really only ever used box dye to dye my hair to bleach my hair like i literally only ever used box dye so i just figured why not this is the revlon black um box dye in the color soft black number 11. i just got two boxes they were like five something each so i was like oh so yeah i literally just got back from the gym a little bit a little bit ago and i need to dye my hair my hair right now is like a dark brown color the last time i dyed it black was probably like over a year ago i typically only do it like once a year even though the color like fades out um just because like i don't want to do too much to my hair like i don't like to put too much on my hair i really just like to leave it alone so yeah my hair is like a dark brown color right now and i don't know i kind of want to switch it up like i want to go a little bit darker for the winter so we're gonna do it i definitely feel like i'm gonna end up using both boxes because my hair is just so much longer than the last time that i dyed it okay so i switched into some black clothes because we're doing black dye and we don't want it on our nice clothes brush my hair out it's not really um i had it in braid a braid so it's actually pretty detangled already, which is really good. Okay, so follow the directions on the box for the dye and mix everything together. And then we finna start applying it. Oh, I picked my pimple on my forehead, so I'm bleeding a little. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm always so scared about doing this in my bathroom because it's black dye and everything in here is pretty much white. So I'm gonna be really careful to not get it on. <laughs> my counter and in my sink and everything like i really really don't want that to happen so we finna be real careful up in here start with the front section and i like to apply it from my uh roots to my ends because my ends are darker than my roots obviously so just be super generous with this. Oh, I should have put Vaseline. Hold on, right in front of my, cause I don't like it when it gets on my forehead and it stains. And I also don't want it to stain my nails. Uh, you high key have to do this when you don't have fresh nails cause you're gonna puncture the glove and get it on your freaking nails and I just didn't think of that. I don't know, I just wanna be a baddie. Mm -hmm. And I like 
I really do like jet black hair on me. But well, you see it's already looking a little dark. recording while I'm putting the dye in my head but <sighs> I couldn't you know change out my battery or anything because my hands were covered in dye in the gloves so I just needed to finish so I finished and it's been sitting on my head for like 30 minutes I set a timer and I actually used the rest of the second bottle to dye my U part, my V part wig that I'm gonna be installing because I wanted it to be the same color. It was like a dark, dark brown. No, it was like a 1B, but this is like jet black. So I was like, you know what? Let me just hit all areas. I'm about to get in the shower, wash this out, and then we're on to the next step. And I'm realizing now this is gonna be a long night. I'm already tired. I'm about to get in the shower. Your girl washed her hair. It's giving jet black. <laughs> um, you guys, I'm tired. I'm tired. I feel like I might finish this in the morning because it's it's almost my bedtime. It's really only like eight o'clock, literally. But the sun be setting so early that I've been going to bed really early. So I feel like I'm going to finish this in the morning, but I am going to put a little bit of leave-in in my hair just because I only conditioned in the shower. I didn't shampoo. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put some leave-in in. Um, 
I'm gonna use this ride or die detangling leave-in from TPH by Taraji P. Henson. I like this one because it's like really, oh, I forgot it's a spray. It's really lightweight, but it has a really good slip and it still moisturizes my hair. And I love the way it smells, it smells so good. I think it has like eucalyptus in it. Oh, marigold and spearmint and ginseng. That's what that is. So I'm focusing this on my ends because my ends are really dry. I am going to be braiding my hair down um, under the wig. So. After I've been washing my hair, I've been putting in this Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength and Length System. It's a seven oil hair blend. And I just put it, I usually put it down my part like that. And then I just do it in sections. This smells so good. And my scalp is naturally dry. So I like to put a little, a little oil on it. But the hair is definitely giving jet black. It's definitely giving jet black. I feel like you, it's hard to tell because my black shirt, but I didn't want to put on a white shirt and then my hair starts to bleed or like transfer. That would piss me off so bad. So I'm going to put this in two braids. I feel like I've kind of forgot how to record like a beauty video for YouTube. Like I feel like it's been so long, but I'm making a comeback. I'm making a comeback on Instagram with like my makeup looks and I want to make a comeback on YouTube with like my beauty content but like you know the good the good beauty content I'm so sad my nails still got stained even though it's so weird because the gloves weren't punctured but I still got freaking black dye on my pink nails <laughs> So now they just look like dingy because they look like they're tinted gray. <laughs> These little silk scrunchies ooh, um, are kind of my favorite thing for doing braids. Look at my hair. My hair got so long, you guys. I know I'm going to get a million comments. Oh my God, your hair got so long. You guys have to go watch the video of me straightening my hair. You can really see the length there. You're probably wondering why I'm putting a U part on and not just like straightening my own hair. I would straighten my own hair, but I work out so frequently. Literally four to five days out of the week, I'm at the gym sweating like crazy. And I sweat my blowout, my, my, I sweat my silk presses out like almost instantly. Um, so I feel like if I have a U part and most of my hair is braided down and I just have like leave out in the middle, then that'll be more manageable with me like, you know going to the gym but still trying to give soap press so we're gonna see what it's giving tomorrow like i want it to look like it's a sew-in but it's obviously not a sew-in it's a u-part wig i have to rinse the dye out of the wig and i'm gonna lay it out to dry and yeah i'll see you guys in the morning for part two good morning or i should say good afternoon actually because it definitely is afternoon i'm literally about to install this wig it's super gloomy outside my hair is still a little damp which is okay i feel like you can see how dark it is now because i'm like in natural lighting i don't know if you could tell yesterday i feel like i couldn't tell but now you can definitely tell my hair is jet black like it actually hasn't been this dark in so long and i've got my little v pot wig key okay she's given jet black too so it's gonna be a perfect match which is like i feel like that was one of my bigger mistakes the last time i installed this wig um i feel like one i didn't press my hair out enough and two the color of the wig and the color of my hair just weren't the exact same color so i feel like there was a little bit of a differentiation differentiation is that a word there was a bit of a difference between the colors between my wig and my hair but now we the same color and i don't know it's kind of given like wednesday with the <laughs> the braids i also did some minor little customization to this wig so 
I don't know, I feel like V-part wigs naturally, V-part, U-part, they're always so big. And the first time I installed this, I actually tied the two um, straps, like the little straps that have the hook so you can like hook it here. I tied those together to make the wig tighter. And it did help, but it wasn't like, I don't know, I just wanted to feel secure to my head. So I actually ended up cutting those out. And I did this like little trick. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. But I basically like sewed a couple of the tracks together. Like I pinched the wig like this. And then I sewed them together so that there's less surface area of the wig, if that makes sense. I sewed about four of the um, tracks, kind of like scrunched them up like this. And then I just sewed them together within the wig. So that kind of took away some of the space and made it a bit tighter and then i also sewed the sides of the wig to the nape of the wig here that's where the elastic band was and when i cut that out it kind of made it looser so i pulled the string taunt and then i pinned it and i sewed it there and i did the same thing on this side so now it kind of just is a smaller um circumference here as well so it's smaller here and then it's also smaller within the wig and last but not least there were two combs here that the first time i wore the wig didn't really do anything they kind of just kept sliding out so i was like you know what i'm gonna cut those out and i'm gonna actually sew them up here and where these combs are now there were two of the clip um what are these called these there were two of these here there were two of these here so i cut those off cut the combs out from the bottom sew them up here and i still have the two clips and i'm like do i need to put them anywhere else i don't know but i feel like i feel more secure with a comb and a clip up here as opposed to two of these because these just aren't strong enough for me personally and they also hurt <laughs> these are so much more uncomfortable than a comb but i couldn't have just combs up here either because i feel like that's not secure enough so i left one of the clips and then i have one comb and i feel like with all those little adjustments that i made that this will be really secure on my head which is what i'm hoping for now i just need to do my braid down and then we get to put the wig on and style it i'm so excited because literally like i just want my head to be done um, so what I want to figure out first also is like how much hair do I need to leave out realistically? I need to make sure that this is doing what it needs to do, you know? Um, so definitely my perimeter is going to be left out and then I'll have this V section here. Hopefully I can remember where this is because I feel like it's always hard to tell when the wig is not on your head if you're leaving enough hair out and then you go to put it on and it's like you didn't leave enough hair out. Like I'm gonna do the whole braid down because I want it to get flat and I do have a lot of hair but the fact that I could just fit these two <laughs> chunky braids under there I'm like <laughs> me being the little lazy queen that I am I want to cut corners but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna part. It was pretty far back. Okay, I feel like this is good so i'm going to twist this up and clip it now i just need to leave out a little bit of hair in the front just so that you know we don't got no track showing or nothing same sitch i just wanted to give sew in without the sew in because truthfully you guys i can't do sew ins like one my scalp gets dirty way too quickly um so like having a sew in for like weeks like kind of like braids and i can't even get to my scalp to really wash it no what no so at least with a v part i feel like i have more flexibility 
it's the way I just want to do like two braids. <laughs> I'm going to do four. And the parts really don't have to be perfect, obviously, because no one's going to see them. And then for this side, I'm just going to split it like this down the middle. Okay, so I braided, finished braiding my hair. Not too much on my braid pattern. I just need the hair out of the way, okay? At the end of the day, that's all I need. Um, but I basically started on this side and I braided down. And then the next braid I did, I added this braid to that braid. And then this braid to that braid. And then this braid to the last braid. And then I had like a long piece and it kind of was like coming across the middle here. So I just bobby pinned it. And now the moment of truth. I really hope this wig fits my head. I really do. I really, really do. Let's stick that in. Okay, slide this comb in. The combs, adding the combs was such a good idea. Okay, I think I actually did it right this time. And then there's a comb in the bottom. Okay. The only thing, and I'm about to take this off and just sew them in. I need to, these need to be down. Yeah, okay. And then we'll be perfect. Wait, because then it will actually eat really good. I'm going to take those two clips. Hold on, let me get them. I'm going to take these two um, clips the ones that open and I'm gonna sew those right here onto the wig because that area where I cut the combs out it kind of just like sticks up so it'll be right here on this side and then it'll be right here on this side like right here I'm not gonna lie, I had to switch to my bathroom because I don't know, I didn't like how the lighting looked in my room. Um, I clipped the V part in. This is what it looks like. I feel like it still is mad big. <laughs> like, this is just a big wig. Like, I don't know why the wig is so big. There's so much space in it. It's secure though. Like the way that I switched the clips around definitely feels more secure here at the bottom with the the snapped in clips as opposed to the combs because the combs would just slide out on its own but like i'm definitely gonna have to put curls in this because i it won't give sleek bust down with freaking the way that it is i don't know that's why i like to try things out and this was like a little experiment for me i feel like it's a little experiment for y'all too but like right here i just feel like there's mad extra wig cap it's just mad space here in the back like this is there's just so much extra space that's not necessary <sighs> should i try and make it even smaller like i can yeah like what i truthfully need to do is like pinch it in this way on this side and on this side and like sew it like that so that because it's just too big like it's just way too big i really loved this paul mitchell heat protectant the skinny serum 
It's a humidity resistant serum that I used when I blew my hair out and I straightened it. I gave myself a silk press. Um, so I'm gonna apply this to my hair. My hair smells so good, oh my god. It's definitely that Taraji P. Henson um, leave-in that I put in yesterday. It just smells so good. And this stuff smells really good too. This um, Paul Mitchell serum literally smells like the watermelon Jolly Rancher. Like it just smells so sweet and fruity and candy-like. So I'm about to blow this out, put that on there. And then, y'all know I'm going in with my handy dandy brush blow dryer that I've had for forever now. I low key need a new one because I feel like the bristles on it are just beat up. <laughs> and I'll be letting Mona use it too. So she's gotten some wear and tear, but I'm about to blow my hair out. So I've blown out this section of my hair. I'm finna put the wig back on. I just wanna see. I just wanna see. The combs were such a good idea. Put that in. This. It might still give a little sun. It might still give a little sun. I need to see what it looks like from the back. Like, does it look crazy? I feel like it doesn't, but... Okay. This is... I'm gonna have to layer this. Well, I was already planning on doing that, but we're definitely gonna have to layer her. And I'm gonna put some curls in it. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of cute though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also wanted to do clip-ins, but then I was like, with clip-ins, I have to do like, put heat on my whole head. At least with this, I'm only putting heat on a specific section. You guys, I think I did something. So, look at the inside of this wig. Hold on, let me zoom in. I pinched the wig only up until right here because I don't want to compromise how it flat and lays at the top of my head. So I pinched it from here all the way down and I sewed it going down this way. And then I did the same thing on this side. I pinched it here and sewed down. So it made the actual wig smaller. And then this is what I was saying I did earlier, but I had sewn that earlier. So it kind of like the lines connected. So now it's like a square if that makes sense and I feel like I feel like this is what I needed to do like I feel like this is going to make a difference like for real so and if this doesn't work then I think I'm just gonna retire V part and U part wigs because they're just too big for my head like I feel like I have a small head like I don't feel like I have a big head and they're always just too ginormous on me so let's pray that this works clip we're gonna do the comb, comb into the braid, pull this down in the back, slide the comb in, one like that, and the other one. It definitely made the wig smaller, 100,000%. Oh, thank God! It looks so 
much better and it feels so much more secure yeah literally like laying way flatter than it was before like literally before it was like bulging out on the side and i was like what the hell that helped a ton in the back this wig i'm obviously not gonna be putting in a ponytail like this is strictly to wear it down because there's no band in the back that's like really holding it in but now i could go in and straighten my hair i'm about to straighten my hair and see if it blends really well and then before i go in with any hot tools on my natural hair i like to spray some of this um paul mitchell flexible style hot off the press spray this is um meant to be used as thermal protection hairspray and before you use any hot tools so i'm gonna spray this on my hair and on so i'm gonna first go in and straighten everything and then we're gonna do curls i'm so excited okay she's pressed out the color is perfect i could even say it my hair blends really nicely with this hair i just obviously need to trim i feel like i have a layer here so we need to make layers in the v part so that everything blends which i can do but like you see you see the um my very obvious layer so i'm gonna do that now but like oh wait let's look at it from the back i don't know how the back looks i hope it looks good i feel like it looks good and i also want to make this wig a little bit shorter i don't really care to have it long um like super long
Why do I not want to curl this hair now? <laughs> Literally, like I'm such a bust down kind of gal. I'm a bust down shorty. Jet black middle part bust down. That's me. Like, that's always been my fave. Like, I love the curls. I need to look at pictures of curls because that's not even. But I can't see. I can't see. I'm just gonna like keep cutting until I don't want to cut anymore. And it's almost even. Where it'd be like. I'm just hacking away. Okay, that looks better. That's kind of an E. That's kind of an E. Am I shorter? Shorter? I love it though. This is exactly what I was going for. Like, does it not give silk press? I feel like it gives silk press. It's giving, this is all my hair. It's giving jet plaque middle part bust down, but like natural, you know? Cause it's not like super long. Like, it's a good length. I'm not gonna lie. Even though it's very um, tedious and stuff, doing your own hair, I really love that I'm able to do my own hair because the amount of times I don't want to switch my look up or just, like, do something really different or drastic like aside from like braids obviously i can do it myself like i would never ever do like not list nothing on my own head i can't do it i just i'm impatient so like spending hours and hours and hours or like a day doing my hair is ridiculous that i will pay somebody to do but like anything else i feel like i can do and i'm really i'm really thankful that i like to do my own hair <laughs> Cause whenever I want a new hairstyle, new hairstyle me, give it to me, give it to her. I don't know, like she's such an eat though. It's giving like 90s, 90s. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're about to do my fill-in on my nails. This set is probably like three or four weeks old, maybe three weeks. I lost one nail, as you guys can see, my index finger. Um, I start off by buffing off my old 
gel polish so i'm buffing off the clear coat that's on top obviously and then the color all the way down to the builder gel that i have the builder gel that i used which i'm gonna use again in this video you'll see a little bit later is tinted it's like a colored one it's not clear so you'll notice that it still looks like there's color on my nail and that's because the builder gel has a color itself um i kind of like to use it just because it it's one less step i still like using clear builder gel but when i'm being i'm trying to you know do this in a timely manner i'll just use the colored one because it's already like two in one if that makes sense so yeah this is me taking my time buffing off the gel i use this on the lowest setting for the e-file because if you are not an experienced individual with the e-file and you're going full speed and you're trying to buff off you're gonna hurt yourself um if you hold it in one spot for too long it'll feel like it's kind of burning your nail so take your time doing that until you feel comfortable to like kind of buff up bump up ooh, bump up the speed um and then i go in with this teardrop um drill bit it looks like a little teardrop and I use this for my cuticle area. So I'm taking this along my cuticles and I'm making sure to get all of that like dead skin off of my nail bed. I like my nails to look like I got them done at the nail salon. And I feel like this is a crucial step for that. You don't wanna leave the cuticle on your nail and you don't wanna just like push it up. Like you literally wanna buff it off so when i do this i don't really have to go in with my cuticle cutters as much sometimes i will if i still feel like there's some that i didn't get but then at this point i was like you know what i think i want to change my shape i've had the square for a couple months now i've been growing out my nails to this square shape and i was like i want to do almonds because my nails always end up rounding out anyway so I was like, you know what, let's just switch it up. I wanna do something different. I got bored with the square. So I used the drill to kind of like quickly buff away the square edges to make it more rounded, kind of like a coffin shape. And then I'm going in with my handheld um, file, like my actual little nail file. And that's where I'm doing most of the shaping. Um, Taking my time with this as well. This is like probably on medium speed for the drill, just cause I need to like make sure that it's cutting it down. And I got two of them done. I'm gonna do the rest. Okay, this is what all the nails look like now that they're all almond shaped. I think it looks so cute. And then I'm going in with this dehydrator and I'm applying that to my nails. Um, very important this is all for the longevity of your nails just to make sure that they stay on long wearing you know and then I go in with this primer it's an acid-free primer and I apply that to all of my nails as well and then I'm going in with the gelish foundation this little gelish kit I've literally had for maybe like two and a half years now maybe even three I don't even know but it's been a long time and she's still holding on but the bottles look real crusty so i might have to place an order for a new one but that just goes to show that it'll last you a really long time so i think it's worth it i think it's like 40 something dollars for the kit and you get the dehydrator the base coat the top coat and cuticle oil this is the tinted builder gel that i was telling you guys about this is from a prey the color i believe is the name sasha and yeah, this is builder gel, but it's tinted. So I don't have to go in with clear and then a colored gel polish. I can just use this if I want to. Um, I'm still gonna apply a gel polish on top of this, but I do two generous coats of that. And then I'm going in with this um, gel polish that I found on Amazon. It's a dupe for the bubble bath, OPI's bubble bath, which is like a really soft kind of translucent pink. So I'm just doing one kind of even layer of this on top of the builder gel that I just applied because I wanted a mixture of the two colors and I'm so happy I did this because it looks so good. I love this shade. Like I love it the little mix is so cute a nice little concoction and then i'm going in with the top coat from the gelish kit 
again this is from amazon everything i use is from amazon and will be linked down below for you guys in the description box and on my amazon storefront so make sure you definitely check that out but yeah i apply a nice generous coat of the top coat um on top of my nails and every time i'm curing my nails is for 60 seconds under my uv lamp and then for this nail that broke i'm actually going to use a nail form i believe that's what it's called honestly i don't know exactly what it's called but you guys have seen this before if you have or if you haven't i think it's a nail form <laughs> and you basically can use this to create um to build up a nail without using a tip or um, any other kind of extension. So I applied that to the little sticker to my nail. I'm using this clear builder gel, also from Amazon. And I'm gonna uh, build my nail up. I start off with a pretty generous sized bead on my actual nail and I apply that. And then I'm going to start extending it over on top of the nail form that I have there so that I can get my length. And I do this because it allows my nail underneath my natural nail to grow out. I've actually done this with two of my other nails when they broke a couple of weeks ago. And in that time, they've been able to grow out fully and now they're all the same length as the rest of my nails. Um, so the idea is the same with this one. This one broke when I was in the gym. Like I just banged my hand really hard and I broke my nail off and actually hurt pretty bad but I didn't damage my actual nail it kind of just made the nail pop off and it took my whatever I was growing out with it but look at how good this looks okay so I cure for 60 seconds and now I'm gonna peel that off and we've got our little nail look at that she's clear and you can see my nail underneath I didn't even bother to like even it out I'm like you know what let's just let her grow then I'm gonna go in with that same builder gel and I'm going to apply and make that nail super thick and sturdy. And then I cured for 60 seconds and now I'm shaping her so that she's, you know, the same shape as all of my other nails. It looks super good. Perfect. And then I'm applying that, um, lot, that light pink color. And I did that. And now I'm going with top coat. Same steps, basically obviously <laughs> so that they ma it matches the other nails the nail looks so good i'm so happy very pleased and then of course the last step is to definitely go in with some cuticle oil and apply that to your cuticles and i also went in with a little bit of hand cream just so you know the hands look nice and moisturized and this is what the nails came out looking like let me know if you guys are gonna try this down below um yeah i absolutely love the way my nails came out these are so cute and i love them hello everyone this video started off as one thing and now i'm feeling like i wanted to be a maintenance vlog which is why you guys just watched me do my nails but originally it was just supposed to be like me doing my hair dyeing it and then styling it and installing that u part or v part wig but child i don't even have that on anymore <laughs> that was last week um and that's okay the v part was really cute but it's just not manageable for someone who works out five days a week like i literally sweated that out as soon as i had to go back to the gym so i don't want to do that again because i don't want to continuously be putting heat on my hair so i think i'm gonna wear my hair curly but my nails came out so cute um can you focus yeah my nails came out so cute so basic and simple but auntie she be getting tired of doing her nails like she don't want to spend six hours doing a set anymore i just don't like i feel like i don't know i've just outgrown that i love doing my nails but truthfully it's very tedious work and i just want something that looks cute and polished um and like done obviously and it's also very manageable because again i work out often i'm often on the computer editing and typing and all that stuff and i can't have really long nails either it's just annoying for me and then i do everything like in my life by myself i don't got a man so i can't be like oh can you take out the guard can you i can't do that i have to do everything myself and then i break a nail because i'm rough as hell like 
you see where I'm going like with this whole thing so on TV doing a little she do a little simple thing like and it just it's enough for me and she's very cute and she gets the job done like I love it and I switched up my um, my shape my last these are my natural nails aside from the one that I broke that I had to like you know create but these are my natural nails and I've grown them out and they were square for a while but my square always ends up rounding out and just looking really ugh so I was like you know what I'm just switch to almond and I feel like this is gonna look really cute when it starts to grow out and yeah so that's the update with that I ordered some more wax beads off of Amazon this is my favorite wax to use I've been using this for years um, this is the one my mom uses or she used to use she doesn't use wax anymore now she sugars but like I still use regular wax and this one is for it's non strip hard wax so you don't have to use it with like the strips like the cloth strips you can just use this on its own which is another reason why I really like it I get it off of Amazon and it's for all body areas sometimes they have waxes that are just for the face and then they have waxes that are just for the body this is for all over and it's I believe it's also for sensitive skin types as well which is what I am so It'll be linked on um, down below in the description box, but then also on my Amazon storefront under my DIY maintenance little list that I have up of all of the things that I use to do my at home maintenance, waxing being one of them. So I gotta wax my pits because they're crazy. <laughs> they look crazy. I gotta wax the pits. It's time to do the upper lip. I could probably even hit in between my eyebrows, truthfully. And. I need to shave the only parts of my body that I shave still left is still left I don't think that sounds right the only part of my body that I still shave is my legs it's because my legs don't really grow a lot of hair it's honestly very minimal and I wouldn't wax it because I feel like the wax would be kind of wasteful to like waste wax on like such a large area when I could just shave it in two three minutes I'm actually really happy that I got this PR package from Athena Club this is basically like a little shaving kit and I was like oh that's perfect uh, so it came with a razor there's body wash and body lotion I'll take a shower shave my legs I'm gonna get out we're gonna wax together <sighs> and then I feel like I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair and then I think our maintenance will be done at that point like I don't really have much else to give ya but my hair is still black like it's still jet black I actually washed it yesterday so I'm just gonna co-wash it right now just to kind of like add a little bit more moisture and then probably do my wash and go routine or something. But I love the jet black hair. Way better than whatever color my hair was before. Like my hair was like three different shades of brown before. Take a real quick little shower. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. It's time to wax these armpits. Blech! No, but it's really not that bad. I feel like because I wax, and I've waxed for years now, that my hairs, even when they do grow in, they grow in long, like, they'll get pretty long, but they're not thick. They're not thick hairs, and they're not super dark. So, like, this being, I think, three weeks, it might even be four since the last time I waxed, I feel like that's really good. Like, I feel like if I was somebody who avidly shaved, my armpit hair would be a lot darker, a lot thicker, and just a lot more noticeable, and I would probably have some ingrowns too. I literally get no ingrown hairs in my armpit, so I, I'm a fan until I decide to bite the bullet and get laser hair removal. And when I do that, I'm doing the underarms, I'm doing the bikini, my Brazilian, I'm doing it all. I might even do my legs and <laughs> just be a fully hairless lady. <laughs> a little cornstarch. You want the consistency of it when you're putting it on your skin. One, for it to not be piping hot because you'll literally burn yourself and give yourself hyperpigmentation. But you want the consistency, consistency to be like peanut butter. Like you're smearing it on like some peanut butter. And I try to do one big strip as you can see so i can just kind of get most of the hairs done <laughs> in one pass and then if i have to like go in with a tweezer or just a little bit more i will but typically this works and i'm able to get it all done in one shot sorry i was listening to a little bit of jake i have to rip this off and you have to rip from the bottom up you should go i always rip it against 
the way my hairs grow so my hairs grow down so i always rip up and it gets all of them <sighs> This one was stuck on. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was actually really ridiculous. It got off most of the hairs, but like, I don't know why it was coming off in bits and pieces like that. I don't. I don't like it. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do like, I see a little patch right here. And then there's obviously some still some wax right here. I'm probably just going to put right here. Now I'm about to do the other side. Oh my gosh. Let's hope this one comes off in one freaking. Ah! Ooh, this one's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh. so bad see when you make it too thin it doesn't rip off with the rest of the the piece and i had made this little section i don't know why i did that we got the hairs <laughs> Okay, guess we finished waxing and tweezing. So I, I waxed my upper lip and then I just tweezed my brows to clean them up. Because, I don't know, like, I like my natural brow. I just clean up under and I clean up, like, right on top just a little. And then I clean up in the middle. But it's really not that much hair, so. And then you guys know I did the pits. And we shaved our legs. So I'm, like, hairless because it's not time for a Brazilian yet. And I'm feeling like, yo. <laughs> Why do I not want to do my hair? What I will say, I just did my nighttime skincare. This topicals, look, the bottle's all squished because I'm I'm practically done with it. <sighs> this is literally the best lip balm I've ever used in my entire life. First of all, it's minty, and I love that because it's like a minty cooling sensation on your lip. It has the plumping vibe to it. Like, look at my lips. They look so good. Every time I apply this, I get mad compliments. I don't know why. People literally would be like, oh my gosh, what's on your lips? And I'm like, Topical's mint, mint lip balm. And then on top of all of that, this thing is long wearing as hell. Like, this has fully replaced any other lip balm to me. She's number one in terms of long wearing. Like, I feel like I normally reapply lip balm probably once every, I want to say three to four hours. This, I literally can go six hours without applying. Like, I feel like it's double the amount of time. Like, I, I can apply this every six hours and my lips will still be, they obviously won't be this shiny on the sixth hour, sixth hour. But they're still hydrated and I can still feel that they're not dry. Like, they don't feel dry. Like, I feel like this one, I don't know. She just, I don't know if they changed the formula of it. Because I don't always remember them being the, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask specifically. Because this is meant to sleep with. I don't remember this being as thin as it is now. I feel like it got really popular. And I don't know. They kind of just changed the formula of it. She's not as thick as she used to be. Because this... I used to put on before I go to sleep and I would wake up and my lips would still be moisturized. Like I would still feel product on my lip. No more. This literally like every two hours I have to reapply. Her? This? She's, she's number one. Like I, 100% I'm a stan. I will be buying three more of these the next time I have to. Like this one's almost done. I'm going to buy at least two. Minimum of two, maybe three when I go to buy this and another one because I need to just have backups like I need to make sure that I always have one of these in my arsenal and I hope that they never change the formula and that she just stays the same because she's literally perfect like I'm obsessed so yeah I just did my nighttime skincare it's Saturday and I was supposed to go out but I don't think I'm going out so why would I do my hair if I'm not gonna go anywhere <laughs> I love you guys but 
I don't love you that much. I'm still lazy. <laughs> no, I love you guys that much. But like still, like, I don't know. I'm not going to just do my hair just to do it. That's a little bit madness. And it, I need to eat dinner. So I'm going to have to cook, which is A-OK. -okay, but I'm just applying this oil to my scalp. I have an extremely dry scalp, you guys. Like, when I tell you, I think I have psoriasis and eczema on my scalp. I want to go to like one of those, I don't know if they're considered a doctor, but like they have these Asian owned spas that I've seen in LA, a couple of different locations on TikTok. And they like literally put like a microscopic camera on your scalp and they look at your scalp, like your follicles, and then they'll tell you exactly what's wrong with your scalp. And then they'll give you things that you can use. I think it's like a holistic practice. So I wouldn't say it's a doctor, but it's like a holistic practice and they'll give you stuff to use to basically solve whatever issues you have with your hair and then they also like wash your hair and do a whole massage like i literally see it on tiktok all the time i want to go to one of those so bad because my scalp it doesn't matter what products i use it doesn't matter what oils i put on my scalp i i don't know like i don't know exactly what it is that's wrong with it so i feel like i can't exactly treat it but i've tried so many different things like literally every suggestion under the book i've been talking about this on my channel probably for the last three years now like in every hair video and yeah so <sighs> i've just recently started using this carol's daughter goddess strength strength and length system no way down seven oil blend hair and scalp oil for weak breakage prone hair my hair is not weak nor is it breakage prone but it has castor oil in it and a bunch of other oils and it said um seven oil blend and scalp oil so i was like okay like maybe this is what i should just use so literally every night for like the last week or so not even probably a little bit more than that i've just been applying this to my hairline i apply it to my scalp all over no matter if my hair is wet or dry i just apply it because the way my scalp absorbs oils it's actually crazy like my scalp is so dry and it's like I'll wash my hair and the next day I'll wake up and I'll have flakes and it's like it's not my hair my hair's not dirty it's not dirty it's not like flakes from dandruff like it's dirty it's dry because it's like dry skin like the skin on my scalp like my scalp itself is just dry my hair is still clean like I'll literally smell my hair the ends of my hair I'll rub my scalp, smell it, it's clean. It literally will smell like whatever shampoo or conditioner I put in. But it's just so dry! And I don't know why, but I think I've always had eczema like my whole life since I was a kid. And I've had it all like in different areas of my body. So I'm like, maybe it's just moved. It used to be on my face when I was a kid and when I was a teenager. I used to have eczema patches all over my face and it caused like discoloration. I would have like these light patches on my face. And it was really self-conscious about it. Um, and then I don't know, like, as I just kind of grew up out of middle school and going into high school, it kind of just kind of started to go away on its own. I did go to a dermatologist, but I don't think what they prescribed to me, like, actually worked. And I ended up using this other thing. I don't know. I'm getting really off topic right now, but I'm going to apply a little bit of... I have absolutely been loving the Lovely Bees line. Like, I have the co-wash, which is what I used in the shower to wash my hair this is the leave-in and then i have the hair mask and i have the hair like curling cream i feel like it's honestly the best curly products for my hair like i feel like i don't get the same kind of results when i use other curly products the definition that i get and the overall moisture and shine is just like really 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 good and i'm like yo this is bomb and if you know lovely bees is owned by lovely brianna here on instagram i mean here on instagram here on uh youtube and that's her handle on instagram too but everybody knows lovely brianna she's literally like a natural hair girly and she also does like wig videos hair install videos and vlogs and all of that stuff and i'm obsessed i'm genuinely like a fan like i'm not just saying that i literally love it and i use it all the time and on top of all that it smells so good all of the products smell so good i'm like girl what did you put in 
fitness <laughs> when i just want to do a little braid out i just take the leave-in and i know shanice is probably like that's not wet enough but i'm not wearing it out i'm just putting it in a braid and I'm not even going to really part it the way that it needs to be parted because this is just what I've been doing. When I don't know what to do with my hair and I know I'm going to go to sleep, <laughs> I just put it in braids. But yeah, I was supposed to go out and I don't know what happened. Men are disappointing though. I'm going to say that. <laughs> I'm definitely going to say that much. I've just, I feel like I personally just experienced so much disappointment with the male species within the last couple of months that i'm just really like kind of ready to close myself off from dating overall because i'm just like what's the point like genuinely i don't see the point i spend so much time like by myself in my own solitude which i am very comfortable with and i enjoy so much but i'm like what's the point of dating somebody if you only hear from them every couple of weeks um you guys only hang out like every couple of weeks like what's the point like what are we working towards here what are we trying to like grow and like learn about each other if we're not really like and it's not even we it really be them <laughs> it really be them because i've been giving people the benefit of the doubt and i've been giving them the chance and i'm also like a little too i think i'm a little too forgiving like oh busy like people are busy they have jobs and blah, blah, blah. but it's like no if he wanted to he would and i kind of just am learning that i need to take things at face value and not obviously not for what they potentially could be but for what i'm receiving in the moment and at the moment i'm receiving very like literally nothing or the absolute bare minimum but it's really nothing and it's just disappointing and i'm like i'd rather just not be disappointed and at least know like i'm not disappointed because i'm not having to deal with anybody like i'm not disappointed because i'm not having to like wait on someone to get it right or to do things the way that they're supposed to be done like i'm i'd rather just not and i think that's why i'm like <sighs> yeah i don't know i don't see the points it all seems very pointless to me but it's like i don't want to close myself off like to the idea of meeting someone because then what if i miss out on the person i'm supposed to because i'm over here like not i don't know i don't know what's the word but i'm like it's when it's when it's supposed to happen i know it'll happen like i know that that's how god works i know that that's how things work like if if it's meant to be or if it's supposed to be like it'll happen but right now i'm just fed up i'm annoyed i'm like Bleh. just leave me alone like i don't want nobody to ask me on no dates i don't want nobody to reach out to me i don't i don't care for the new year's the new year's eve text or the the Chris, merry christmases and the and the birthdays and whatever else like just leave me alone <laughs> like literally i would be okay i would be so okay with that because y'all y'all are disappointing truthfully and i and they're confusing too like what do you want genuinely what do you want because i feel like then when i get around you or i speak to you on the phone or whatever you're saying another story you're singing a different tune oh i missed you so much oh da -da -da. oh like talking about the future like i'm gonna be somebody to you and it's like you don't even act like you don't even act like that now so how could we even get to a future point if you don't act like that now <laughs> like what that doesn't even make sense it doesn't even make sense <sighs> yeah. dating was more fun when i was younger and i really knew i wasn't looking for anything serious like i didn't care about that at all and i was just literally just having a good time a grand old time just outside having a time so if you're young if you're a young hot thing stay a young hot thing for as long as you can i'm still a young hot thing i'm still a young hot thing but still you know like now i'm getting a little bit older and i'm just like okay like auntie's getting tired like she don't want to have to deal with multiple people like it's cute for a little minute but then you get tired of it it's a, it's a lot of work and a lot of energy to be exerting to entertain like more than one person like it sounds fun and it is fun for like a second 
the one you got the, the energy and the time to do it but it's very time consuming and i'm honestly over it and that's why i'm like okay like i'm gonna be more intentional the same way that i'm intentional about other things in my life romantic my romantic life and like my love life i'm like okay i'm gonna be more intentional with that like i'm gonna be just more intentional overall and i feel like i'm doing it but i don't feel like i'm getting the same energy reciprocated so i'm just like you know what cancel all of that <laughs> leave me out of it leave me out of it it's above me i don't want i don't want no parts so thank you for coming to my ted talk i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was super random <laughs> i don't know i was just feeling different things like it started off one way and it's ending another way and i think that's okay because that's literally me like that's literally me in a nutshell but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe i love you guys so much you're literally my favorite beings on this earth yeah aside from benson whose birthday is actually tomorrow he's gonna be turning two years old I I can't believe it. My baby's getting old, yeah. He's growing up. And I just want him to calm, calm down just a bit, just a tad. Like, I feel like he's still a very rambunctious. Ram, rambunctious. I don't know what the accent was. I feel, like, I feel like he's still a very rambunctious pup. So I need him to, like, with this older age, to kind of just settle into it. Like, calm down just, just a bit, babes. Um, so that's the talk I'm going to have with him in the morning when I wake him up and I tell him it's his birthday and he understands that it's his birthday. But yeah, tomorrow's my baby's birthday. Ah! I can't believe he's going to be two. I literally can't believe it. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see my next upload. Bye!